Welcome everyone to the Deep Charts footprint presentation and setup video at Phileas Prop Firm. So let's not wait any second and let's dive right in. So as you can see, we are already in the Phileas Prop Firm dashboard with Deep Chart directly integrated. So let's go for the full size window for a better view of the screen. We have the detach button at the upper left of the chart. So let's click on this. So it will open the chart in a new window. So to activate the footprint, you have two options. The first one, the easiest is at the bottom. You have multiple options, indicators. You can select the second one, which is the order flow bid ask, which means it's basically the footprint. So when you click on it, the chart will load because you need to load all the order flow data. So once everything is loaded, the footprint is actually on the chart, but you cannot see it right away. You need to zoom in using the time axis. So let's zoom in and right away we can see the footprint displayed. So if you already used a footprint before, you already recognize the classic display. We have all the volumes on the bid and on the ask. We have the imbalances, we have the different volumes and the POC displayed by default. And the second way to actually display the footprint is if you want to untuck this and go in the indicators, you can do add indicator. And here you'll go in the volume. So it's all the volumes indicators. And here you'll find the order flow analyzer, which is the footprint on deep chart. So let's click that. Let's hit apply close. So here is a different layout for the footprint, but it's exactly the same indicator. It's just different settings. And for the two methods, you can edit all the settings. This is exactly the same. For the first setup, you'll go at the bottom and right click the order flow analyzer or the order flow bid ask button. And here you can display all the settings. But for the second way of adding the footprint, you'll go to the indicators and here you have the screw for the setting. So here we have the same exact settings displayed. And here you can change basically everything. You can display the ask bid split like it is by default. You can just display the volume. So if we hit apply, so you will only see total volumes by each price levels. Now we can come back to Delta maybe. So here you have the difference between the ask and the bid, but we'll go with the default ask bid split. Now we have all the settings and we'll go through them right away. So second setting, you can edit the way they are grouping the volumes. Here we will not change any of them. Then you have the bar style, so you can change whether you want to display the candle or the body. With the candle, you have the weeks and the body is only the full body. So here we'll stay with the candle. Okay, hit apply. Then you want to say, okay, do I want the candle in the middle or in the center? So if we want in the center, it will make the candle appear at the center of both bid ask volumes. We'll keep this on the left. Now we can edit the way the footprint actually looks like. So we have the plot settings. So the plot style is basically we have the boxes or you want to display them based on the volumes. So it will be harder to read, but it might be useful if you want to have a quick read on the volumes, uh, how it is displayed without looking at the numbers. But for now, we'll go with the box. Uh, background, you can edit the background to make it more visible if you want to. And then you have all the styling settings. We won't go through all of them, but you can change almost everything so you can customize it exactly the way you want it to be and only display the exact data you need. So then you can edit the POC if you want to have it displayed or not. We will use it like this and you can edit the styling if you want to change the color of the box. We will keep it by default like it is. Then we have the Delta POC setting, which is very nice because it's not on every platform. So you can basically display the largest delta, positive or negative, and uh, you can display this on your footprint. So we'll go like this so you can see. We are going to increase the border size so you can see clearly the largest delta di displayed directly in the right color. You can also display the value area, which is basically where the most volume has been executed during inside each candle. So it can be useful if you have longer time frames candles. So you can really see where the most volume has been executed. Now we have the ratio settings, which is something very popular among footprint traders. By default, it's disabled, but you can activate it by going on the enable setting and going bar only one per bar or up and down. We'll go up and down, apply, and here you can see the ratios of each footprint candle. So what it is, is a ratio between the volumes of the two last price levels. It's used to detect a volume exhaustion or a volume absorption at the low of the high of the candle. So it can be very useful if you know how to use it. 
So here you can have it enabled directly on the footprint. Now we have the volume cluster setting, which gives you basically the ability to display clustered volume. If you know how to use it, it's very powerful. You can enable it and display it as you want to. And finally, the advanced setting, basically you can edit the size of the footprint and the offset if you want to have it more on the right, but for most people, it will be great by default. So that's it for the footprint settings and to display it exactly as you want to. I kept the default colors, but obviously in the settings, you can choose the colors you want to use. And now that you fully customized your footprint, let's add one more indicator. So it will give you even more insight on the volumes inside each candle. So let's go into indicators once again. Let's go for add indicator volumes and then here you have right below the footprint indicator we have the order flow values for traders who already know what it is it's very powerful because you can display different values for each candles so here we have all the styling settings we won't go over them because this is basically just the colors the way it is displayed but what will interest most of you is the information you can display at the bottom of the chart. So here you can have the total volume, which is already displayed, the total delta of each bar. And from here, you can add more information as you want to, the delta percentage compared to the total volume. You can have the time duration for the candle if you have a range candle or a tick candle, which is totally different from a time-based candle. So it can be very useful to see the difference in time spent in each candle. You can basically display everything you want in addition to your footprint. So I know it's very popular for footprint traders. So that's why I wanted to include it in this video. So you have the full setup for your footprint. Now, once you've chosen to display everything you need, you can resize it on the side using the arrow. Let's go like this. And then we can resize the footprint too, which is already pretty nice. So perfect. Now we have our information at the bottom for each candles and the deltas and the volumes directly for each candle for your footprint. So that's it for the footprint guide and setup video. I hope you liked it. It was William for Phidias Prop Firm. Don't hesitate to click the first link in the description below to join Phidias Prop Firm using the code PPYT at checkout. Leave us a comment below to tell us which deep chart tutorial you'd like to see next. And don't hesitate to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.